as Malaysians, sometimes being ambitious is so expected of us, it hurts. Your neighbor and his four-year-old son has already bought a car for his mom and you are just stuck in your comfort zone. Is it okay? What if we don't want to be ambitious? We're going to find out today. Welcome to the Tabletop Podcast. Nihao! Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good evening, good night. Uh, actually, what time do people watch? People tag us in listening to podcasts in the evening for some reason. So, good evening, my good fellow evening. my fellow listeners. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Table Talk Podcast with your host. Oh, okay. oh sorry. So that's what it was. Uh. <laughs> we, we have uh, two lovely guests today. Uh, you might or might not recognize their voices uh, or faces on the YouTube channel. So, if you're not already following us up, uh, head over to YouTube and uh, follow us, please. Thank you very much. We also have an Instagram. So, Taggers. Actually, there have been a few re re reoccurring taggers on the podcast. Uh, some of them, like you know, they they tag, you know, they give us their comments, and it's pretty nice. Some of, some of them just tag, and like there's there's nothing. Oh, I love I love the tag, but you know, some feedback would be great. Uh, we're not sure if you're tagging us. You hit the share button wrong or something, but you know, always grateful. Today we have uh, who you what you do. These two lovely ladies. Lovely ladies. Lovely ladies. Lovely ladies. Uh, uh, wow. The polite. <laughs> oh, Go Vivian. Oh. Hey. Sweet, sweet girls. Uh, hi, I'm Vivian. Uh, hey. Closer to the mic, Vivian. Oh, okay, hi, I'm Vivian. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow, Vivian. Um, <laughs> shit. It's been a while. It's been okay. a while. The last yeah. time we saw you here was about 30 episodes ago. Yeah, oh, I, shit. Really? I was just, just thinking to myself this morning, wow, I'm finally not talking about how single I am or deaf, but I'm talking oh. about how unambitious I am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why can't I just get out of this circle? <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. But that's what we're discussing today. Is it wrong though? Ah, is it wrong? Is it wrong? Nothing though? wrong about it. Nothing wrong about it. There's nothing wrong. If you thrive, okay, we'll save that for later. Oh my good Lord in heaven. Welcome back to the podcast, <laughs> Vivian. <laughs> Um, and besides Vivian, who you, what you do? Hi. Uh, yay. I'm Soph. Oh. <laughs> you might recognize Soph's voice from beautifully discussing things about marriage and bang, bang, de bang, bang. Uh, the yay. highest hit so far in the podcast. <laughs> You're lucky uh, when girls not talk anymore. about the bang, bang. Oh, not anymore. We have a high episode. Oh, what is it? What is it? I think it's the uh, recent one, actually. But we'll, we'll find out later. Oh, dang it. She hit. Something has overtaken it already. I see. Yeah. So I've got to step your game up. So, uh, but anyway, so welcome back to the podcast, <laughs> ladies. It's been a while. Um, how are you guys feeling? Hey, you all registered for the vaccine? Yes. Um, not this round for me. Not this. <laughs> it's good to be a hard <laughs> part. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not registering for a vaccine that the country said no to. So. Uh, oh. uh, 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 I didn't. I didn't get a slot. Uh, it's okay. If yeah, you didn't yeah. get a slot. You know, do what do what you feel is comfortable. Yeah, but right. I urge everyone, please sign up if you can. We're well, too late. Slots already full. Yeah, you can't yeah, sign up. Wait, wait, okay. wait for the round two. Get ready for the round yeah, two. Yeah, waiting for round yeah. two. Oh right. Well, speaking about round two, we are round three. In oh. MCO right now. Yes. Oh, damn. Um, and there's a brand new thing that's being introduced alongside the My Sajatra app. It's called Hide. Hide! Hide. Hotspots yeah. identification for dynamic engagement. Bodo. This quite, shit, it's quite right? It's funny. <laughs> like, hide. Yeah. <laughs> Run and hide. No, saw. but you know, right? This is actually Minority Report, you know? Really? Yeah. Like this thing, do you know what it does? It, in the words of Darren, essentially, <laughs> okay. what this thing does is it predicts and determines hotspots for COVID cases even before they've happened. Yeah. yeah That's but, like Minority Report. I mean, report. the concept is great. Then you see their list. Yeah. And a dipshit could come out of those lists as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, you know that? what's the irony is that they've closed down like a lot of places, right? Yeah. Mm. But then everybody is crowding to Around the, the other places. places. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The like, concept is great, but it's a dipshit. Sorry. It's, it's a stupid uh, execution. Like It's stupid. Let's just wonder downside. where things... Hmm. Let's just take out all the shopping should malls. Be, should be here. <laughs> Okay, it's a good call. Yeah. Oh, but then the bazaar maybe is okay. Yeah. So we just leave those open instead. Until yeah. next week. Alamak, Until next you. week. The yeah, bazaar yeah. is closed. The bazaar is now, closed. Now, now it's closed. closed. <laughs> now only. They were like, oops, we forget that they're too. Just, they just close their eyes and point the finger. Speaking <laughs> of, speaking of uh, not aiming properly, we're talking about ambition today. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, good Lord. What's this? Like, this is a really interesting topic that's came up. Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy talked to us about it as well. Um, you I, know who came up with this topic? Who? Sophira. Oh, oh what an ambitious girl. Oh. Oh, thank you. Hey, <laughs> you're, you're welcome, George. <laughs> ah, sorry, your, your name is George to me today. She sounds like Peppa Pig episodes. Okay. And um, ambitiousness, ambitiousness. Oh, sorry, what? What is that Malay phrase for it, uh, In school, we always talk about what? Uh, cita cita. Oh. Cita cita. What a what a term. Karangan. 
cita-cita kamu bila besar nanti? Mm. What do you all right? Um, nothing. Oh, sh- I was homeschooled. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why you always got to flex your privilege? Oh. <laughs> well, oh, it's a matter of perspective. Damn it. <laughs> What did you write, baby? <laughs> Oh, okay, shit. when I was in primary school, it's the usual like doctor, police, whatever. Yeah. But in secondary school, for real, I wrote a film director. Oh, so, yeah. What was the film that made you like? I'm a. I want to be film director. <laughs> Actually, it was not yeah. a particular film, but I. But you know when, so when Astro was like starting to bring in more channels, there was like the E News channel, oh. right? So when I saw them, I'm like, whoa. whoa. E News, you want to be on the red carpet? Uh. <laughs> Okay, but <laughs> for, the moment, for the moment, I I was like, I oh, would be cool to be at at, at a red carpet. Yeah. At a red carpet, but it is I can't act, so like I'll just settle for the behind the scenes. No, yeah. I'll just settle for the next best thing. For the next best, just best the, film thing. Director. <laughs> the film director. I choose the people who act. Yeah. And you were just like you were just like no, I'm not ambitious. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> sure. The reality check. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. No. No, oh, no. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because it's two lovely ladies here talking about ambitiousness today. Okay, so Jeremy, you, you want Oh, Jeremy does have a mic today. Sorry, Jeremy. What do you guys I, I mean, are we ambitious? Uh I mean, opening for it was like Malaysia's Malaysians are ambitious. And then I don't know, maybe I'm mixing the wrong circle cuz I grew up with people who just wanted to play. Yeah, you um, definitely mix it the wrong circle. Um, no, we've actually talked about, the, I mean, the reason why I feel this is a really good uh, topic to talk about on the podcast because prior episodes to this, right, we've always talked about chasing your dreams, right. starting your own business, being right. your own man, you know, chasing right, right, your right. passion, stuff like that. Oh boy. All of those things, right, is a form or it's a, um, I guess, byproduct of being ambitious. Right. You want to see something being achieved. The thing is, Everyone, you know, will say that, oh, there's different ways to define like being ambitious, right? It can be career, it can be finance, it can right. be like happiness and health and wealth and all these kind of things, right? What if, in general, <laughs> you just aren't really ambitious? What But, if, right. at the end of the day, you don't dream about being like uh, a CEO of a multi-billion dollar company? You don't want to have like, you know, 50 kids. You, you just want to be... <laughs> Mm. Yeah. And is that okay? And I think that's something that we want to dive into today, right? Oy. Oy, oy, oy. The Oxford Dictionary defines ambition or being ambitious as having or showing a strong desire and determination to succeed. Oy. What if <laughs> success isn't necessary? Right. 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 Mm. Or I mean, everybody yeah. has a different measure of success. Of success yeah. Yes, correct, think, correct. Yeah. Mingan always says this when we talk about passion and like starting your own business, right? If everyone is building their own castles, nobody is building anything. And I'm like, it's a, it's a very good point. There's going to be no castles. Everyone's just going correct. to be left with some sticks and bricks. Exactly. And- so, you know, let's, let, let's kick off the podcast by saying we're not, we're not trying to condescend or like Uh, ambitious people. tell people. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, we're not, we're not trying to condescend ambitious people number one. But All secondly, right. we're not trying to like We're not trying to mansplain or even look down and be like, oh, we're, we understand that you're not ambitious. We don't no, understand yeah. shit. I'm, I'm, un, I'm unambitious in many oh, areas of my life. Right, right. Some areas I'm ambitious. Common, <laughs> common misconception, uh, we're talking about ourselves most of the time. Yes. Uh, we, yes. We, we are in no, I mean, this is not a professional podcast. So guys, we're here for oh, entertainment. Oh, it is a professional podcast. It is a professional. <laughs> it's a professional. certified. Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> we are entertainers. Okay. Yes. But, but I would say, wow, the first thing that popped in my head was like, guys, okay, Among among us on this table, do you guys actually know what being ambitious feels like? Are you consciously ambitious? Like what is that? I feel that's the okay, term. Maybe the question should be: What do you think? What's the first uh, thing that yeah, comes yeah. to your mind when you think about being ambitious? High, Even, high, okay, high, high freaking achievers. Like what? Like like what or who? Uh, they always want to achieve something and they, you know 30 under 30 Forbes list kind <laughs> of thing. You're talking about Guan, is it? Oh, Guan is good. Shout out Guan! Congratulations on uh, 30 hey, under 30. I haven't seen Guan for a really long time. Guan, 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 do you listen to this podcast? Tiger if you do. If not, <laughs> you're going to be the next victim. One of his people show sure have one. Like Denko. Oh uh, my goodness. No. Okay, until so, now. Until so, now. No, let, let, let's maybe just give out a couple of sentences of what you feel uh, success okay. is. Yeah? Uh, I think uh, ambitious people are go-getting, go-getter, always on the chase, hustle, no fussle. Uh, wake up 5 a.m. in the morning, flex that packs kind of people. So, Ivan. 
Ivan is. I mean, he is a go getter. Ambitious. He, Ivan is ambitious. Right? Yeah. Ivan's Hosek. been on the podcast before. He's the founder of Hosek. Yeah. Go make snacks. That, that is ambitious. You know, yeah. you wanna you wanna go out there and change the world. You know, make a leave a print on mankind yeah. while you sleep. While yeah. you sleep. Oh, hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so is oh. that being ambitious to you? And are you ambitious? Oh heck no. Okay. Screw five a.m. Oh, in the that's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, unless it's Sophia's pool parties and I'm all out for 5 a.m. <laughs> in the morning. Hey. He's still waiting. Uh, Is he still waiting? Is yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit me. Okay. Vivian? Uh, I think, moment of silence. Uh, <laughs> I think for me, it's like people who have dreams and like they know what they want to do. They like, don't let their dreams be dreams. Yeah, I don't let their dreams be dreams. Like who? Like you have to give a... What so is a person, uh, what's uh, example yeah, of an yeah, ambitious like, person? Whether it's like a local or non-local uh, person that mm. you follow on Instagram maybe or you uh, heard about or read about. I don't know. Like Elon Musk or something. Uh, I guess so. No, 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 cannot. You don't, <laughs> I, you don't, I don't think you care about <laughs> Elon Musk. I, 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 uh, mm. I, I, Who is someone that you feel is ambitious? Right. And then you're like, oh, yeah, that is... That's pretty cool. Yeah, and then... And then you maybe compare your standard of where you are to, to their, their yeah, to their ambition. Mm. This is good because like it gives everyone yeah. a very sort of. I don't like, know. I think there's people and... around me. Okay. I think wow, like, so you feel a lot of people are ambitious. I say they. Uh, so my my the, my my definition of ambition mm. ambitious right is like it's so narrowed down. It's like as long as you know what you want, what's your dream for the next five years? I feel like that itself. Oh, you're, you're ambitious it's already. Very good, yeah. It's like mine is super like not like so Ming Han's one is like oh I want to do I like the big the big picture yeah, mine yeah. is like for me you're ambitious if you know where you want to do in the next five years oh, I don't know what I want really to do in the good. next five years so that's I'm like really good. so yeah, that was right. like a huge wake up call for me because I know like like everyone here right, they, mm. they are like oh so what's your plan for the next five years I have literally no answer to that I don't know what I want to do and I don't know mm. what, are the, what are the dreams I want to achieve I didn't know it was so big I think my mom asked me that question. It's okay. It's I'm wrong. like, whoa. Oh, okay. Happy just, Mother's Day. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to my mom. <laughs> it's something she watched this one. Hi, oh, Andy. Oh, Happy yeah. Andy. Uh, <laughs> hi, Andy. I just love your cakes, Andy. You make some really good cakes. We haven't had it in a while. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. It's, a while. It's, a, it's, a, it's a good... Um, it's a good... I'll give you, I'll give you a plot twist at the end of this after Safira okay. shares as well. Okay? So what's... what's uh, who's ambitious to you and what is your mm. definition? Um, Mm. I can't pinpoint a particular person at the at, like at the top of my head. Right. I mean, you mentioned Ivan. That's a good gauge, I guess. Mm. Like, and another person I know probably Adrian. But yeah, they wake up at like four thirty-five. They get their stuff done. Ambitious and then people seem to wake like up really early. More. Yeah, I am disgusting. <laughs> 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 you need the rest. <laughs> but you need the rest. Oh, wait, it's called ambitious. No wonder. Oh. Oh my. P ambitious. Oh, yeah, I'm P ambitious. <laughs> but <laughs> I think my That's definition so would be very similar to what you mentioned, Mihan. Mm. Um, overachievers, you know, want to get everything done. I, I think the first thing that pops into my head is in a more mm. of a career mm. spectrum. Right. And if I were to put myself there, I'm not, I would say I'm not ambitious. Um, I'm ambitious dependent to what degree. Mm. So I'm not like hungry and need to want to be my own boss and start my business and like get my own things rolling. Mm. I'm very okay with like working under somebody else, for example. Mm. But I guess I would say I'm ambitious in a sense that I would want to excel in whatever I've been positioned in. Right. Mm. There we go. Yeah. That's really good. So... so yeah. I think right off the bat, right? I think what Malaysians. Me? Oh, wait, Ming Yu. Oh. oh. Sorry, Sadness. I thought you were not sharing. I thought you just asked both of them. Ming Yu, what's your ambitiousness? You shared also. I, I have none. You talk about Ivan, Ming Yu. That was Ivan. the first one. Oh, right, right, right. right. Sorry. <laughs> Ming Yu, Ming Yu. Yeah. It's not awake today, man. Uh, um, I have for no me, copay. Ambitious people that, to, like, to me, um, I think Jin is ambitious and successful. Mm. I think Jen is very oh, ambitious. Yeah. Mm. And she is successful as well. Mm. They mm. may say otherwise. You know, everyone has their own you know, yeah. um, perception of it. Mm. Um, I see people like like Ben, Ben King in, in Singapore. Mm. He's ambitious to me because he he wants to do projects and he does it. Mm. Like Hersey is ambitious to me. So all these people that are like, are like peers around me, I consider them ambitious. And I feel like sometimes I, I wish I could be a little bit more ambitious in that regard. Mm. But then which I feel is why today's topic resonates quite well with me because I feel like there are things that I want to achieve and I want to do, but 
is it okay that I'm also completely complacent about it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Maybe that's where the definition comes in, right? I think there is. I think this Oxford definition is is good. Having or showing a strong desire slash determination to succeed. But as Asians, I think we link ambitiousness to success more the most. Mm, yeah, mm. definitely. Like you're an yeah. ambitious person to succeed, and then success is like uh, and success is like money, the stem right? la. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, you yeah. were ambitious. You know, you weren't just a dreamer. That kind of yeah. thing, right? Um, but but isn't that most most mostly the case? Like I think everyone kind of links being ambitious to whether or not they succeed in what they do. Because yeah. if not, they'll just call you like ah oh, you're crazy or a dreamer. Like you know sure can man that kind of thing. Hobby. <laughs> yeah la, I mean it's it's the kind of thing where you grow up. Your parents ask you like hi ah no such thing like just go be an accountant. Then they 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 water out your ambitiousness right away. You know yeah. it's that kind of thing where it's so crazy. Like the Asian culture, we are like we're like groomed and bred to succeed. But our ambitiousness is killed along the way. Like mm-hmm. we have to succeed within a mold or something like that. Like, yeah. oh, you know, you go and get this, but don't, you know, aim higher, but you never become that. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's the Asian mindset, right? No, you're not good enough. And you'll never be good enough. They're gonna, yeah. hey, Who hey, were the hey. first parents to set that bar? <laughs> so don't must, shout out to must be the Must be those guys <laughs> swimming from China. It's like, I can swim faster <laughs> than you, but you will just be a slave. You know, that kind of thing. I don't know. That, that kind oh. of Chinese mindset. <laughs> But okay, ambitiousness, I, I think just... Mulan's father. Oh my, what? <laughs> Mulan's father. <laughs> Sorry. The father. Mulan's, oh my gosh. The, <laughs> Sorry. When she saved the whole nation. Yeah, still wasn't like enough. That wasn't enough. enough. Oh my gosh. Okay, so are we ambitious or not ambitious? I think today's discussion, right? Um, do you guys need to succeed to be ambitious? Do you think it's Wow, a f- that's so good. Like, right? Oh. Is it a separate thing? Yeah. I think it is a separate thing. Success and ambition. Yes. Yeah, I mean... Even Elon Musk is ambitious. But, he's ambitious. But he's not put anyone Whether, on Mars yet. Co- oh, right? yes. Correct, correct. So correct. we don't even... But he is also real. Like He, he literally told the world, yeah, people going to die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just saying, people going to die. So, okay. Let's, you know? Maybe the correlation here is not so much that you are successful if you're ambitious. It's, it, it doesn't mean that. But there is a higher percentage successful. that ambitious people do become successful. It's just because they've taken more shots, ah. I right. think also because they dare, mm. they dare to like dream that whatever yeah. they want to achieve correct, mm. correct. and then they work towards achieving that. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess also it depends how you define success. Right. Like, what actually, yeah. Mm. If you don't have a definition of success, how, because I think ambitious is towards a goal. Mm. Right. And then if you don't have a goal, like most of us, there's no success because mm. you don't know if you're achieving it. Yeah. Yeah. AKA the yeah. five year, what, what do you want in five years problem? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, be honest, Vivian, I don't know what I want in five years. I've never known oh. what I want to achieve in five years. I had to put there, I want to make a movie because it seemed like the right thing to do. You know, like, you know, when you, when <laughs> yeah, you fill in the karangan, yeah, the, the doctor, you need to put doctor, accountant yeah. and that kind of thing. I feel like when you enter this industry, yeah, yeah, I want to make a movie. Mm. I don't know how I want to make a movie. Right. <laughs> I, think, I feel like that's the... The that's thing, the right? main thing. I want to make yeah, movie. The main thing is make movie. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. I think a lot of our friends, actually, I'm probably the most unambitious creative in our peer circles. I have no dreams to like, I really want to make a movie. I'm like, I'll be real about it. I would love to make a movie, but it's not like my hustle. I, I know where I am in terms of my skill set, but I won't kill myself if I don't make a movie. You know, that kind of thing. That's why I feel like I'm in your shoes as well. I'm not the most ambitious person in the world. But I'm a very curious person. Mm. I feel that maybe is my form of ambitiousness. It's more like I don't have a problem with failing, number one. I'm mm. really cool with that. I'm mm. like, I mean, Vivian has seen the amount of crap we've, we've tried. I mean, yeah. uh, in the past <laughs> one and a half years. But I think I would, I would, I mean, define uh, ambitiousness as like you don't stop doing something. That's pretty much my, 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 mo- my motto of life as well, right? Um, but the thing is, I've never felt I don't know. I'm not an ambitious person. I don't have the AM, <laughs> the AM hustle. Screw that shit. Seriously. I mean, I respect all you guys who freaking wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go gym and like drink protein shakes at 6 o'clock, meal replacements, <laughs> come back and do it again the next day. Um, but is there, has there been a moment you guys actually feel like, you know, that Buzz Lightyear moment where you're staring off the, into the horizon <laughs> and then like... Everything burns. Yes. Ah, <laughs> no, no, no. This morning. <laughs> no, like I'm going to get that. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to... In a good way. Oh, yes. okay, so every, in a good way. Which Toy Story are you watching? Yeah, the one where he lost his arm. <laughs> 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 Everything burns. And then he was depressed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
test us at the tea okay, party. Okay, Let's reverse. Uh, oh, shit. Happy, That's happy, crazy. optimism, yeah. positive. Okay. okay. Have, have, you, have you guys had that moment where you're standing, looking over the horizon, like someday that's gonna be mine. That ambitious moment. Anything <laughs> that stands out so far, so far lah. I'll get the ball rolling. Okay. I have none. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And is that bad? I don't know. Do you feel like maybe? Actually, yeah, is that bad? I think it's bad if yeah. I'm where I am right now. No family, no job, still living in my okay. parents' room. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. when unambitiousness gets bad. Like you have mm-hmm. no purpose for doing yeah, anything yeah, yeah. in life, right? Um, but I have never had that horizon moment where you're like gleaming over the last splinter of light and it's like, that's going to be mine one day. <laughs> Vivian, have you had the horizon moment? I Yeah, actually when... Oh. Uh, so you know how I've, I, 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 I said that I wanted to be a... Director, whatever. No, like, <laughs> Even your volume cut back when you said that. <laughs> I wanted to be a director. Uh, All right. In the industry, whatever. In so, the industry. so like when I was younger, I, mm. I that was my dream. And okay. like in uni, I didn't even study this like this field or whatever. But then I mm. I knew this was my dream. I worked towards uh mm. going like to this. Mm. So like I am now here. I have experienced being on set. Mm. I I've always wanted to be on set. I wanted to write scripts. I've done that, done that. Mm. So I feel like now, oh, I've done those. Mm. What else oh. do I go after? I think I think I realized I uh, shower thoughts. I just like, realized okay, maybe that's the problem. I don't mm. know what I want in five years because I kind of already. Oh. Got so what you're I the want. classic so, case of overachiever. Uh, you made it. You did it way before you, you realized it. Kinda. Uh, uh, your content. Uh, your content. I don't know. But yeah, uh. is it like but also like, oh, is this enough? Oh yeah. Mm. Uh, that's a great question. The, like, the hunger sure, begins. I've been on set and I've been oh. doing this, but is that enough? Like, oh. do I am I comfortable being like just experiencing one time on set, two times on set? Like, because I know like all our teammates, they're like, oh, I would love to be on a bigger set. Mm. I want to uh, make my own shot. Want to write my own thing? Oh. And all the kind of thing. Like everyone here, they we all I think share similar yeah, kind yeah. of dreams. But yeah. yeah, like for me, like why am I not as ambitious? Yeah. But do you think you question that that just because? of the people around you who say yeah. these things or like if you think about it yourself what you're doing are you like happy doing it? I mm. I think I can say I'm definitely like influenced by <laughs> the people around by me because I around yeah because <laughs> I've never realised it was a problem until like people all were asking the same questions like, mm. like okay if that many people are asking the same questions then means it's there's some truth there's in some it. truth in it it's okay. like important I mm. guess so that's a good point man I, Sophia <laughs> horizon moment um I also don't think you've had a horizon. Moment. I've had a, f- okay. I guess because maybe earlier on the way I define it is. You mean in homeschool? I kind of hurt me. Maybe not that early. No, like okay, maybe sorry. a few years back. In homeschool. <laughs> yeah. In homeschool. <laughs> but okay. I think I realized what worked for me is that I couldn't define it as like a checklist or like mm. okay I want to be this and then I tick it and then I say okay I've succeeded mm. so I've kind of um, adopted <laughs> thinking that mm. success comes with whatever I'm able to do mm. with what's given mm. at the best of my ability and even if the result might not turn out exactly like how I wanted it to initially but if I feel like maybe I've grown from it, from it or I've learned something from it mm. um, then that's success to me in a way and I feel oh, content. Sophia John. <laughs> it's, a, it's the signs of contentment, I guess, that come from that. Um, this is home business. <laughs> Homeschool business. Oh, no. <laughs> ambitious homeschools. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Mingyu, what, what's ambitiousness uh, to you? Dude. It's, what's your horizon uh, moment? I've had multiple horizon moments. And I think for me, the horizon moments are of when I, when I figure out and I'm sure that I'm actually mm. good at certain things, right? I feel then I will like I will throw myself into the future and be like, wow, if I pursue this, right, I'll be able to do this and this and this and this. But then, right, after seeing all that, right, I just like, I don't feel like I want I I, I need or want to pursue it. Like, mm. so for example, I'll give you a very simple example, right? Like, um, like something I really want to do and I feel like I, I might be good at is uh stand-up comedy. Mm. I, I I've wanted to do this for a long time already. Mm. But I also don't really care not doing it. Mm. I want to stream Apex Legends because my yeah, kill count and average. Talking right, about it for the last freaking few weeks. I'm really, really good. Y- yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. I'm really good. Like initially, I thought it was casual, and then I was looking at the stats, and I'm like, I'm actually, I could, I could whoop your ass, uh, Okay. You know? <laughs> but I don't feel there's no push, uh. That I don't feel like I'm not getting anything if I don't do it right, as well. Right. Like right. Like you don't lose anything. I don't lose anything. Like if yeah. I do, do what? If I don't do, yeah. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Then, the, then that puts a, a tail end and a head end of ambitiousness, right? Number mm. one, do you need to feel super spark to get ambitious? Like that, I think that for push. me, I think it it definitely. I need to do right. it, yeah. Because like, if you look at my my, my own Instagram page, right? And I've, talk, I've talked to the team about this before. I'm like, there's so many things this that I can actually do with it, but I, I, I don't say, bother. I want to say something, but it's going to jeopardize our work, okay? Mingyu is the leader of, of uh, the, the Blank State Arm, right? Yeah. And you guys do amazing work curating people's <laughs> yeah. social media. Yeah, correct. And they work. Yeah. They freaking blow up. I mean, you can't give two shits I about it. I don't. Because, because it's a... Uh, and and I, so that's the thing. So I, like, I was going to go to my personal right. make or break of, of being ambitious, right? Mm. My ambition is strongest when it involves other people. Mm-hmm. Mm. On, am, on your own? On my own, I, I'm really not asked, man. I, I can just right. like be happy and be alone in my, in my room, and in my house. Okay. So for me, I think what... Like even with the five-year plan, right? For me, do I want to see our company like like thrive and grow. I'm like, of course, yes. I pool. would love to like win awards and everything. In-house but chef. for me, above anything else, Homeschool, my man. ambition is more centred centered around with all the people that we have now, mm. can we make sure that everyone is happy, healthy and growing in, in, in five years? Mm. Like to me, that's that's my yeah. push. So there's a tail end. Mm. Your hit end is the spark. Mm. What's your push? And the tail end is, do you need to have success in mind to be ambitious. Mm. I feel like just from everyone talking today, right, that two things that wrap up ambitiousness, uh, do you need that push and do you need the end? Like, personal sharing, I personally think I need the push. I think yep, for yep. ambitiousness, there needs to be a reason for me to do something, but I don't care about success. I feel maybe that's also why, I mean, even in the dynamic of being you, Brian and myself, whenever we have meetings, right, and, we, and Brian always asks me, what's the goal? Wow, yeah. shit, I hate this question. <laughs> I seriously, like, I'm the worst OKR guy in the, in the three of them because yeah. I don't know what I want to aim for in two years. Why? I'll also tell you why. I don't know what I'm aiming even tomorrow. I, I am like kind of like, I'll make it up on the fly. If I see a use for it, I'll go for it. And I don't need to succeed. That's mm-hmm. why I'm, I'm also the worst at OKR. I never fulfill any of my OKRs. <laughs> this is probably the first time the whole team is listening to this, right? I suck ass at OKRs. OKR should kind of just go OKU for me, okay? <laughs> That's me. I mean, in terms of achieving for, objectives. Uh, for people who don't know what's an OKR. Don't, don't say, don't say it's okay. okay don't say. It's an objective okay. key result. It's I'm how a, we uh, define and determine <laughs> just exposing what, just like, <laughs> objective with ob- uh, in our workplace. I am okay you at OKR. Okay, uh, I can tell you that. Uh, but I think, to, okay, the, the, what was that last point I want? I think it's different also, right? Because mm. like, if you are on your own as a creative, it's fine. If you're leading a group of people, yes, yeah, you sarcastic. need to have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People need to know where you're at. That's yes, why I tell everyone, correct, guys, correct. we all going to make a film one day. Big movie. Big movie. Yeah. But I guess coming back. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, I think that's why we both work together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's like, we are forced to say that. Like, hey yeah. guys, welcome. Uh, you're, you're representing a team. Yeah, we want to make a movie. Do you actually want to make a movie, honestly? I mean, it'd be cool. You see, but that's, that's like, what I think. It'd be oh, cool. Can yeah, no, can no. I? It'd be cool, oh, no. you know? But they're yeah, more interesting to do things like even things now. That's my take on it. All right. Before, I mean, there's been a few things over there. Okay, this is something that I think we all can take away something, right? There, I feel ambitiousness to each person, right? There are factors. There are like triggers for ambitiousness, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and, and maybe I can share a few. Number one, I think my, what is it? My requirements for ambitiousness do not require success. Mm-hmm. All right? So to me, if I feel I have more leeway of failing, I feel more ambitious about it. I always feel that. Lah. If I feel that I have more... Like my, my target ground is wider, right? And I can have the ability to fail more at this. I will be even more ambitious at it. Because no one's going to say shit, right? I, uh, I, I shared a quote the other day. <laughs> I shared a really good Instagram quote. Look at me. Pick, pulling up my... Sharing, oh, okay. sharing his Instagram quote. Pulling up my, my hashtag archives. Hustle. Hashtag hustle. Hashtag every day, all day. I just, think, I just realized uh, another person who is mm-hmm. uh, super ambitious, Raj. Raj is oh, super Raj ambitious. Is so yeah. ambitious. He, be, he knows what he wants to do 20 years down the road. Yeah, yeah, I can't correct, even correct. think of that. I don't like, even know what I'm going to do 20 minutes from now. What yeah. will I eat for lunch? I don't know. Do <laughs> I look like... I'm, no. Yeah, like, that's admirable, right? Like, there are days I'm where a, I wish yeah. I could see the future as much as him. Also. Oh, Raj. But it's like... Okay, but you, is there like a fine line between being ambitious and being a big 
dreamer. This is not a bad thing, yeah, but yeah, being a big dreamer. Oh, that's dreamer. a very good point. <laughs> because everyone got dreams. Yeah. But they let their dreams be dreams. I think okay, in the dynamic of like the the directors, Ming Han definitely has the highest dreamer uh, characteristic. I mean, technically to yeah. be a director, you need to have some kind of definitely, vision. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, I don't akin that to ambitiousness. Though, no, correct. Right? I agree. Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And it's good because I think like we, when we talk about vision casting, right, he does have very specific like, okay, you know what? I w- let's push for this. Yeah. Let's see this happen. But right? I suck at I don't know how we're going to get there. Correct, correct. So we that's why me there. and Brian come in, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, teamwork, right? Teamwork, and yeah. I think you need a good mix of all that. So even yeah. in your friendship circles, right? Because I mean, when you think about it, your life is still your life, uh, right? Yeah. Teamwork yeah. is great, but your life is still your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my friends, I don't know how we're going to be friends, but I'm going to friend the shit yeah. out of you. <laughs> like, That's just me, right? Your there. friends can't be responsible about how ambitious you are as a person. That's good. Yeah. Right? You're like, because of you, I cannot reach this yeah, goal. Wow, yeah. that, 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 that friend is. But we out, got friends man. like that, so right. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, another topic. What, oh. do, you, do, you find, do you find your do you find your quote? Your quote, your quote. So basically, the ambitiousness, right? I think the terms of failure. This is my factor for ambitiousness, and I always feel right when it comes to like you know the word intro introspect introspection, mm. getting to know yourself. Mm. You will really like amplify these values. Mm. Number one, I feel that if I have more freedom to fail, I will be super ambitious about something. That means no one mm. is going to say any otherwise because in that one, it's an it's a Elon Musk quote. You, know? one, you have to be the 1%. What Ooh. do you do that your 99% of all your peers aren't doing? Oh, right. You have to be that dude. And I'm I crying feel that every day. If, <laughs> <laughs> Does that make me... <laughs> You're the 1%. The 1%. <laughs> yeah, I'm the 1%. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different stat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But I feel like if I'm that 1%, the 99% got, got, can't say squat about what I'm doing, I'll feel very ambitious. And number two, I think for me, uh, the spark and the longevity of that passion has to be there. I feel if I lose passion for it, by the next day, I'm not going to be ambitious about it. Like for, maybe for example, uh, crypto, yeah, when no yeah. one was doing it yet and I was like alone and yeah. quite lonely, then I got Caleb's gambling ass to come and join me. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you feel very alone. Mm. So to me, a very good sign of ambitiousness for me is I don't care if I'm alone doing it maybe. I feel that passion overrides people at a certain point in that stage. I'll keep going for wow, it. Wow, that's so good. Oh. But, huh? really? Because no, no, I'm I mean, the opposite. I, I lost a lot of money. Eh. Like for me, my, <laughs> my <laughs> ambition is if I got people to do it together with, then I want to do it. But that's why we need to work as a team. Yeah. Because my passion overrides people to a point where like I tunnel vision mm. and I don't, I, uh, the biggest problem that I have as a vision communicator is mm. I get, uh, I, I used to have an, a very big micromanaging problem. Mm. Like I need to be in control or something, but that's talk for another day. Yeah. So I was like thinking, is that then just FOMO? Is it FOMO? I have no FOMO in ambitiousness. I don't think though. it's FOMO. I think it's yeah. just different. Yeah. It's the like, introspection. Different, different yeah. spectrums. Like, like some people are really more team player and yeah. some mm. really just can achieve everything on their yeah. own. You know, it's like the ducks flying the air. Yeah, like the V, uh, flying V. Someone got to be the front V, right? Yeah. To take the brunt yeah. of the wind, oh, right? Yes. Yeah. And that yeah. don't know where he's going most of the time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so like, like you know. Oh, wait, yeah. And then you're just following the big duck. Sometimes. I mean, that's what, then, ben, that, but also, you know, I like, you know, people always take this example out of context. You guys know that the ducks rotate, right? Yeah. I mean. <laughs> they do? Yeah, yeah, they do. They all know where they're going. They're just taking a break. Wait, the, the, the big duck is not the mother duck. It's no, no, no. no. <laughs> so it's just a formation. It's just a formation. Not it's just a formation. Sis, they're not even related. They're, not related. <laughs> they're just like a gang of ducks. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, well, all the, this all is the a image. different podcast. <laughs> Sorry, this is this. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay, yeah. so okay. speaking about ducks, right? It's not really duck, uh, 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 a duck <laughs> example, but okay. Mm. Ambition, right? Um, when you look at cycling, like road cycling and competitive cycling, right? People, there's usually a, a group each team has about three or four cyclists. Mm. And for 80% of the of the route of the race, right, they will be cycling in a formation or like a straight formation. And then the guy who's in front, right, is breaking wind. The windbreaker. The yeah. windbreaker. So wind he's breaker. the one who's setting the pace. He's he's taking the blunt of the wind right. so that the people behind have uh, less energy that they need to spend yeah. so that they conserve the energy, oh. right? On yeah. the last 20% of the race, the people behind they overtake him yeah. and they win. Mm. This guy never wins the first place on. Yeah. I feel that's me. I don't need shit to win. So I think that's the perfect yeah. example of the ambitions. Like, is it okay if it's a group win, but yeah. you don't feel like, oh, I need to be the one who gets but see, that's, it. Yeah. That's what I mean. You come, like, what, that's what you said, right? I don't, I have the passion over people. Yeah. 
Not to say I'm not passionate about people, I am. I don't think I treated any of you guys like shit, just saying. But <laughs> I always feel like when I'm zoned in on something, I don't care if I need to succeed for it. See, it falls back to my first factor. Mm, mm. But I think that last 20% of the sprint is where people come in. Because I won't be able to complete it because I'm tired of shit. But I'm okay with someone else like going for, for the finish line. I'm yeah. totally fine with that. And ah, I was going to, ah, what was this? Ah, you were saying something just now, Vivian, that was a really good point. Flying big ducks. I think, uh, yeah. My, <laughs> my, <laughs> besides the ducks, my third, my own personal third factor for ambition is I don't need to know what I'm, where I'm going at a certain point or how I'm doing it. I think for me, Ooh. that is ambition because most of the time when like, for example, uh, I mean the simplest example, the content world right now mm. we're navigating. There's no rules, what? There's mm. no blueprint, right? And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with just fumbling around in the dark and, and figuring things out. And I feel to me that's that's being ambitious because you are laying down tracks uh, and going into something. But I've you see, uh, I'm talking so much about it. I've never felt this as ambition. I've just felt it as like, ah, tomorrow do this. Uh? Do I know Actually, what I'm it doing is, tomorrow? In a way, it is. But ambition. I'm saying like you. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Eh? You see? So... But I guess you still have that drive. So that to drive, a certain extent, yeah. you are quite mm. ambitious. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Would, I would also say that there is a misconception about certain people who like, if they're unambitious, mm. then they are being completely complacent. Complacent in a way that yeah, they are not are. satisfied. There we go. But actually, mm. I, and I just had a conversation with one of our colleagues the other day also. Because mm. um, I was asking her like, do you feel like you need to progress greatly in what you're doing mm. now or like expand into a different role, get promoted, whatever. Yeah. And she actually said like, no, I'm quite happy with what I'm doing. Yeah. Like, so if it's the status quo for the next few years, she's completely fine. And she already yeah. projected that. And I'm like, then that's great because that makes you happy and that yeah. makes you content. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's your own correct. happiness yeah. and con oh. how content. I, th I think yeah. that's, that's yeah. The, the last part here, right? Are we, do we akin that to being successful? Uh? I mean like in an Asian context, right? Do you always have to be promoted to tell like, oh yeah, look, I'm ambitious. Look, I'm successful. Is it a failure to be ambitious and just being great at what you are and what you do? I think that's that's where our yeah. <laughs> culture like kind of messes it yeah. up because I right? think it's always that success means if you get into a company, you end the up, work. you have to be the boss of that company. Right. Yeah. Right. But if you were just one step higher, that's also, that's so, also okay, an yeah. achievement, yeah. but so it's in, not seen. In their perspective, is it, wrong to not be ambitious? I don't think it is. I don't think there's... Right? Because some yeah. people, like, let's say, I'm not trying to downplay anyone again. Um, some people, like even my friends included, they, they get looped into this ambitious cycle, right? Because everyone around them says, like, you got to chase your promotion. You got to chase the next step. You got to chase this. And then they're like, they get caught up in it like, crap, everyone is succeeding. I need to succeed too. I need to grow too. Then they hit the managerial position and they're freaking, they are freaking, uh, what's the word? They are freaking depressed about it. Mm. They have stress that they never wanted in their life. They have all these work things, that, all these responsibilities. They're, they're like, wow, I hustled so hard to get even more hustle than I need to do. Mm. But that's being ambitious in the corporate sense, right? Mm. Like you are not ambitious if you don't work for your promotion. What do you call people? Like, and, and sorry, not call people. A lot of us call those people like, who are just happy and content, you know, complacent. Mm. But, yeah, where is that line? You know, is it okay to be quote unquote complacent if you are absolutely happy where you are in life? Yeah, is it yeah. okay to be not ambitious? Because I know people who thrive just doing normal stuff. Yeah. And they have the most amazing lives, you know? They have like balanced everything. They're waking at 5 a.m. for no reason just to see the sunrise and they go back to sleep again. Yeah, yeah. They're not exercising, but they've got great yeah. friends and family. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, do you have to be ambitious to be a great person? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Our freaking Chinese culture is like everything it's, to be. It's a really one. no joke, right? The I I think our Asian culture has has done something to our mindsets, right? Yeah. Mm. That when you work, right, it's it's Chinese people at least. Uh, I don't know about the rest of you all, but uh, we always have to go for the the the, the top the three, the 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 doctor, like medicine, law, oh. or like some science mm. thing, right? And then. Here's something that, I mean, if I ask you, right, let's say you were in Malaysia, right? Okay. And, and this is something that's very real, even in Australia and UK. Plumbers and people who work in Tesco, right, have equally or if not sometimes better wage than those in, in any of these like top tier uh, jobs, right? So my question is, let's say Malaysia's economy got to a point where it's so, it's fair. so good and so fair, it's right? So fair. That you could, be a, uh, you could be a director of like uh, a company, 
mm. earning like, you know, X amount a day. Or you could be a plumber or aircon service repairman who earns maybe slightly less than that, mm. right? But because even though the money is the same, the prestige or the ambition title is better if you're a director, right? right. Oh. I think a lot of people it's will all, gravitate I f- towards I that I feel one. like it's all under like the expectations of society, like how mm. it has been constructed to... And the, yeah. To, like, to, so you, that's why we grew up thinking, oh no, I, I'm not, I've not succeeded if I don't achieve this. Because that's but, yeah. how we were taught. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, think our culture is more closely wrong. linked to I've not succeeded, I've not been ambitious enough if I've not earned this amount of pay. Yeah. Mm. I think even besides earning is about if I don't get married by this age, if mm. I don't yes. own a house mm. by this age. All these like standards set in place are yeah. like the... Uh, unfortunately, the, the word ambitious has been wrongly linked to succeeding or achieving titles. Yeah. Yep. Right? I feel like... I mean, Haley is freaking ambitious. She wants to jump off things. Yeah. But she's only going <laughs> to succeed at like hurting herself, right? Yeah. <laughs> but but, but then the thing is, this ambitious, you know, I, as, a, as a two-year-old, I want to climb the stairs by myself. Is that safe? Heck no. Is yeah. there any monetary value? No. But there's a freaking ambitious thing for a two-year-old. And then somewhere along the way, I guess we all lost that. And yeah. as yeah. an Asian society, if that thing doesn't reward you, as a as a, as a having a title, then don't do it. Yeah, as a, if a thing doesn't reward you uh, uh, monetarily, that's not being ambitious. Yeah, you know whatever you're doing right now, if your salary don't move and your title don't move, you're not being ambitious. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. your uncle, auntie, all doing Chinese, ha, huh? still same place, ah. Uh. Wow, <laughs> that's too real. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's too real. like every Chinese New Year, my <laughs> grand aunties, they were all like still there. Then they're like, oh, so you got property already? What's your pay now? They ask this kind of really. Right. Oh. They, they really want to know the number, you know. I yeah, hope they're not. The number. I'm the uncle, shut up! <laughs> hey, sorry. I don't know where they came from. But yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, why do people do that? Why, why is that? The, Chinese, I think it's the, Chinese, Asian culture. Yeah. Culture, yeah. No, I think we, we have a family culture of like putting people down to try yeah. to be close like to each want, other. <laughs> they are, whoever, they are, they are, they are own side of their family to be like, it's like a competition yeah, for yeah, some yeah. reason. Yeah. It's always it a competition. Why is it a competition? Okay, yeah. the, 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 neighbor, the, the neighbor boys, the neighbor kids, the neighbor kids examples. At the mm. start of the At opening. the beginning. Yeah. The four-year-old yeah. boy with the car. Yes, yeah. yes. correct. correct. Car. <laughs> that see, one uh, really hit home. You see, you see uh, uh, Mr. Bing's uh, son, uh, already four years old, become doctor already. Yeah, doctor, wow. <laughs> kind of what thing. are you doing? What are you doing? I'm, I'm not being Mr. Bing's son, I can't <laughs> tell you that. I don't know. I, I, think, I think, yeah, the reprogramming we need to do, especially now, uh, oh, why, how in the world did we miss this, this example, guys? We talked about it as well. Being ambitious in the MCO. Everyone is oh. like, I need to succeed at oh, doing yeah. something in the MCO. I think really this Asian culture has just been like absolute squat shit to Asians in general. We're freaking, we're freaking we get depressed if we don't perform. Mm. I, I think, and, and performance and success is never, wow. I think should never be what linked to ambitiousness, man. I think it's, it's like, Rather than disappointing yourself, you're more you're even more scared of disappointing others. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you're not sharing your Instagram, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean that's in a, a way, lot of yeah. yeah. So if I like what you said earlier in the podcast, you said that to you, uh being ambitious can be even just doing the best you can where you are with what you've given. Mm. Yeah. I I feel like that one is a lot of us actually, like those who are listening to the podcast as well, like you guys may or may not be running your own business. You guys may be working at a company that's not even yours, you know, mm. and, and you don't even know if you're going to be staying there for five to 10 years. But does that mean you need to fast track your exit from the company to start up your cupcake business? No, it yeah. doesn't. I think that there are seasons and periods in time that maybe you want to share about what you think about this one. Just doing your best where you are. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean... Maybe because I've also seen people in the same positions and then treating it, treating the position like a level of excellence that you're supposed to perform at. So if Mm. you're not like high position, then you're like, oh, you just deliver as is like half-hearted and Mm. be like, oh, this is what I get paid for. This is what I get recognized for. So I'm just going to do it at that. But Mm. for me, I guess it boils down to my personal values and principles if I want like somebody to value me not even in just the workplace just in general Mm. if I want um, to be seen as having these values then I should reflect that as well so (laughs) so in what I'm doing then I try to I try to excel in that like if you just ask me to print some 
paper, right? Like print something, I'll be like, I'll, I'll print it really well. I'll, I'll be a damn <laughs> like, make print, sure you don't printer. need to ask anybody else to print it. Like that's wow. just my <laughs> philosophy. I'll make the paper from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> like DIY paper yeah, I, th- <laughs> I think it started <laughs> also when I was an mm. intern mm. Um, mm. back in my publishing days at Blue Ink mm. um, and I think a lot of times I was not well discouraged in a way because like I would try to do these things mm. and I had people tell me like oh you're doing too much or like people will take advantage of you and stuff. Mm. But I just told myself like, okay, I'll I'll just press on and do what I'm doing because that's how I view it. And then after that, I saw the benefits of that. I saw that people Mm. um, relied on me more Mm. and they saw me as being quite dependable. And then then I got a job from that. So, (laughs) Hey, good job. (laughs) Yeah, and that's like, oh, that's my achievement my day-to-day achievement and success in that way, I guess. Right. Yeah. I think you did highlight the second ugly hit of ambitiousness or maybe we can we can end on that. I think uh, besides all the good stuff we talk of being ambitious and it's okay to fail and stuff like that, I think the two things that really stood out about the ugly side of it is like expectations of society, number mm. one, right? And I think the second one is, oh, this just brought a few people to my head. Ego is very directly linked to ambitiousness sometimes. Mm that I need to prove myself. I need to always show people what yeah, I'm doing. I'm going to be mm. better than you. That's yeah. my ambition, to be better than. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that is, that is ass, man. That is ass ambition. But, but that, hey, it comes back yeah. to the whole yeah. competition thing. Yeah, and competition. Yeah. And, and so, it makes other people who were not affected feel affected. Because <laughs> right? like, they're like, oh no. Am I missing out am or I something? Missing out? Yeah. 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 But I think that's ass ambition, <laughs> not ambition. <laughs> oh. You know, I, I think you can be ambitious about what the shit you want to do, but be a good person about it. I, know. Yeah. I always go back to what Herzi says. You can be whatever you want, but be responsible and yeah. be a nice person. But don't let it affect other people for crying out loud. Yeah. But oh man. So to answer the question, right? Is it, is it to okay? be ambitious? Yeah. Or whether it's okay not to be, I think it's still something that it, it, you got to find a middle ground. You you can be unambitious. Mm. Just that, ask yourself, is it ecological? Is it, is it like detrimental to the people around or you? Or well? maybe we mm. just bring, the, we bring the, the standard down a bit. I think everyone is ambitious yeah. in a certain thing. I'm ambitious to have a happy life. Yeah. I, mm, I yeah. strive to, ha- to eat a, that good meals. I like, I like bread. Yeah. I strive I, to have bread once bread. a week. That's a great ambition, by I the way. Bread. Yeah, there we go. I think the ambition is <laughs> speaking to this people. Right? Suddenly, <laughs> you suddenly just went, you know, you hit a nerve there. But I think, I think, yeah, we got to break down that Asian mindset of like ambitious means days, these things. You, yeah, you don't yeah. have to, you don't, I, I, I like that we very early on in the podcast said mm. that success and ambition is two separate things. Mm. It you is. don't have to have. I'm ambitious to fly. Yeah. Are you going to Without do a plane? Probably not. It, I want to fly. Probably not. Will I succeed though? Uh, probably not. I'll say for the fourth time, but probably if not. You're <laughs> yeah. If you're happy, if you're happy, wherever you live. Yeah. You guys, he lives exactly. very high up. That's not, that's not oh, encouraged. Uh, 20 <laughs> floors. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to get at least five seconds of drift time. <laughs> okay, let's oh, okay. maybe. Let's let's sorry, sorry. Sorry. This has Go been ahead. a really interesting podcast. I feel like this is something that we can definitely explore again mm. in a couple of months because, you know, at different points of life, ambition always changes. Oh, yeah. The season for your life changes. So what I may be ambitious about today may not be something I'm ambitious about in a couple of months' time or yeah. a week or a day. Let us know your thoughts on this Please. one. This week's song recommendation. Oh, I'm so happy to recommend this song. This song is a brand new one by this Singaporean girl called Lei Yi. Huh? And this one's called Hey Love. Check it out. Oh, it's it's really quite nice. She hasn't started singing. Shucks, this is the intro. Oh. Hey you, how have you oh my goodness, go check it out. That's it. It's so yeah, good. I actually, uh, I, I, Ben, Ben King, Ben King shared it, and then. I was oh. talking to him. He's like, "You, you, you're gonna like this." So I listened to it, and this is—it's been on repeat. Wow! Then she followed me on Instagram, and I was just shitting my pants. <gasps> I see. Nice. Wow! It's so good. Shout out to uh, Lei, great singer. Everyone, but for the rest of us, oh, we feel the day, man. Everyone, please, if you—I mean, to those listening, if you have felt touched by the ambition of this episode, <laughs> yeah, 
Can you please share your stories? Please, we need yes. to hear if you yeah. can relate to this. Tigers, yeah. Tigers yeah. and let us know table. your table. ambition or ambition stories. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you've been the victim of ambition, let yeah. us know. Yes. You know, we are here for the victims of ambitiousness. <laughs> if you are a PM ambitious person, it's okay too. Uh, ladies, <laughs> what? Any closing words? Parting words? Thoughts? Um, I'm... Mm. I don't know what <laughs> The, ambi- <laughs> the ambitiousness uh, is showing. Yeah. Mm. Glad to have this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> See, but that's the ambition. I, I just, I'm happy to have a conversation. I'm happy, yes. It, I, the conversation didn't go anywhere. Yes. I'm Needed. just happy to be here. Happy, happy to be here. Happy to talk. You have fulfilled your ambition. Happy to talk about bread. Bread. Oh, we love bread. Dodo Bakes. We're coming for you, okay. Dodo Bakes. <laughs> oh. Yes. What about you? Oh. Home ambition. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. <Huh>? Maybe <laughs> I would say don't dwell so much on whether you're ambitious or not. But maybe the only thing you need to figure out is um, how you personally define <laughs> success to yourself mm. and be okay with that. Yeah. Oh, I love wow, it. Wow, that's a... Cut my closing. I just put her... <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man. Just, oh, that's correct, man. I think we just... Just remember, we are privileged to be... We are privileged to have the opportunity to talk about ambitiousness, mm. ambition and success. In other parts of the world, people are just trying to stay alive. Mm. And they yeah. have no privilege to talk about how ambitious they are. So, you know, our ambition is to number one, stay clean, stay safe, yeah. stay healthy. Yep. That's success every day. And uh, yeah, don't take it so hard on yourselves, guys. Uh, success is not linked to ambition. You know, ambition is, I don't know, just you want to have a happy life? Great, go work for it. Uh, but please don't make someone else's life unhappy while you do it. I mean, what's your wrap up of words of uh, ambitious wisdom? Oh, I, I got nothing, man. There's oh. a lot of wisdom out there, you guys. I see. If you guys enjoyed this uh, <laughs> podcast, let us know, tag us in your stories and shares. We love hearing what you think about it. If you want to get caught up with all the latest podcasts, check us out on Spotify and Apple Music as well as YouTube because I see a lot of you guys watching the full videos there. We love having y'all chit chat. Mm. We also have a Discord server if you want to get plugged in. It's called right down below. <laughs> Our, the takeaway yeah. table. It's 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 called uh no you can check us out at discord.gg slash the takeaway table and we are there hanging out on a weekly basis playing games with y'all hanging like, out and chilling like hard. Daily basis. All daily basis. Mm-hmm. Ladies, it's been a pleasure having y'all here. We'll probably revisit this one soon. For everyone else, stay safe, stay clean, get vaccinated. Oh yeah. Uh slam how are you guys? Slam how are you? Please be safe. Yeah. See you next time.